Move over Ali Dia. Gregory Axelrod is the ultimate fake footballer. While Dia was infamously able to convince Graeme Souness and Southampton that he was George Weir's cousin, Axelrod went to another level after his own father had banished him from playing football due to pure embarrassment. Greg, I am so upset. You are so bad. I don't want to see you anymore on a football pitch. Between the ages of 10 and 18, and being banned from playing football due to his lack of ability, the youngster only ever played in his garden. He never gave up on his dream of playing professional football, mainly as he wanted to prove his father wrong. One day at school, an idea struck. Axelrod created a fake website, which claimed he was a professional player for PSG Reserves. He would copy and paste match reports from the local newspaper and take out the name of their star striker, which at that time happened to be Nicholas Anelka and replace it with his own. The information wasn't a complete lie. Axelrod was playing for PSG, but for the club's amateur side in the bottom tier of French football, a level at which he describes the worst in France. As part of the facade, Axelrod even went to the effort of sneaking on the PSG pitch one day to take official photos of him in his PSG kit. His website and CV was then sent to some of the biggest clubs in England. Chelsea, Man City and Arsenal turned the former McDonald's worker down, with the latter responding to him after he sent a letter to Arsene Wenger requesting a trial. But second tier side Swindon Town gave him a shot in the summer of 2003. On the first day of the trial, I was so unfit physically and tactically, I was lost. In the practice game, the keeper hit a long ball. I tried to head it, but it hit me square in the face. Everybody laughed. The Frenchman wasn't selected for the second day of the trial. Bournemouth's financial problems in the early 2000s meant the amateur Frenchman was able to train with them for one week in their 2007 pre-season campaign. Axelrod even scored for the Cherries in a friendly. Swindon then returned for the amateur style later that pre-season, and the Frenchman scored two goals in a county ground friendly, with 21 other trialists in front of the Robin supporters. The two-goal display was caught by the Sky Sports cameras, and that led to a stint at Norwich. But a poor performance in a reserve team friendly led to another rejection. But the right offer nearly came in the summer of 2009, when Axelrod Rod was asked to train at Bulgarian side CSKA Sofia, who had just qualified for the Champions League. Convinced he was a PSG reserve team player, CSKA offered him a three-year contract worth £15,000 a month. But an unfortunate series of events involving the club supporters saw the Bulgarian side spot the strikers' problems. I did the two-day trial, and on the Sunday, the coach told my agent they wanted to sign me. They took photos of me in the official CSKA jersey. I signed the contract. They published on the CSKA website that I was signing. Overnight, one CSKA Sofia fan contacted a PSG online forum and asked, we are about to sign Greg Axelrod. What do you think of him? All the PSG fans didn't know me. They said I was fake. The CSKA fan contacted every journalist in Sofia and it was revealed the club were going to sign a fake player. When Axelrod came down for breakfast on Monday morning, nobody at the club wanted to know him anymore and he was asked to pack his bags and head back to France. Axelrod does now actually have a full-time career in football, just not the one that he planned. The Frenchman now acts as an agent, trying to get young players into football academies without using the tactics he did. The 38-year-old has also written an autobiography titled Pro at All Costs, detailing his bizarre journey into football and giving advice to young players trying to get into the game.